hey guys what's up welcome back to another vlog i'm gonna be doing a little weekend vlog today today is friday and it is 9 4 in the morning i'm about to head to work i'm gonna do my lippy real quick but i have a pretty like chill weekend i work today and tomorrow and i'm not sure what i'm gonna do sunday if you guys are new here my name is ashley i am a licensed hairstylist i do work at a salon here in orlando and i do content creation on the side so if you like beauty lifestyle hair related content don't forget to subscribe also forget to follow my instagram ashley to see a little bit more behind the scenes and i'm also 18 weeks pregnant today so baby girl is a cucumber today <laughs> So I'm gonna put it on my lippy real quick. I need to head out because I need to get gas. The gas dropped down again, like really, really low um, right by my house. So I need to stop and get gas before it goes up again. This is Rare Beauty Color Wise, you already know. I also just buy, I also just bought another backup from the Sephora sale. I also have Juvia's Place lipstick and Madame Manuel, Madame, I can't see that. And then the Fenty Gloss Balm in Sweet Mouth. So like I said, I have a pretty chill weekend. I really wanna go to a pumpkin patch on Sunday with Ryan. I'm trying to invite my sister, but she's not sure if she can make it. I really hope she can go, cause it would be fun to bring my niece and just have like a little fall day. But besides that, pretty chill weekend. I have a chill day today. I did have a cancellation yesterday, like so last minute. So it was hard to fill it up. I have a 10 a.m. balayage on my best friend's little sister. And then I have a 1.30, and then I have a 1.30 extension on a new client. So, and then I'll be done after that. So I should be done around 3.30, 3.34. I'm gonna go get a quick pedicure after work because my toes are looking bust. They're looking terrible. And then after, I need to return something from Sephora. So that is the plan for today. <laughs> so let's do this. It is super early. It's only 1.30. My next client, she ended up rescheduling because her hair extensions didn't come in on time. So it's going to be a very early Friday for me. So I'm just going to run a couple errands and just go home and relax for the rest of the day. I think Ryan is getting out of work early too. So that's kind of nice. I'm going to go to Ulta. I have to get a couple things that I ran out of. That I ran out of. I usually buy my tanner online from Malibu Bronze, but I think I'm gonna try the Loving Tan, like ultra, ultra dark one, like the platinum one, and see how that goes. And then what else? I, and then I have to go to Sephora to exchange a product, and then, and then I feel like I'm forgetting something, but we're just gonna go with the flow. So Ulta was a ultimate fail. <laughs> The parking situation there sucks, first of all. Second of all, there was absolutely no parking. Like, zero parking spots for Ulta. And people were literally just looping around, fighting for parking, waiting for someone to come out. It's like in a plaza, so that was a fail. So I went to Sephora, returned, will exchange what I needed to exchange, which I'll show you guys later. It's just a house lab bronzer. I just need to get a darker shade. Um, and that's it. I'm pretty proud of myself for just doing that and not buying more things from Sephora because they are having their sale right now. They just had so many pretty things. But I was a good girl. Now I'm back home. I am just chilling here now. I have Stormy here. I got some snacks, some popcorn. And I'm just going to chill and watch a little bit of TV. I need to take down all the Halloween decoration this weekend and prepare for Christmas, which is crazy. <laughs> So crazy but i'll check it with you guys later not sure what me and ryan are gonna do later maybe just chill here at home but it's gonna be a very chill friday good morning happy saturday so happy it's saturday 
I ended up doing absolutely nothing yesterday after work. I just watched TV. I took a 30 minute nap, which I hate taking naps and I woke up feeling worse. So that's why I don't take naps, but it was so nice just to chill. Ryan ended up staying at the office a lot longer than he thought. So when he got home, we just went a little stroll around the block and just watched a 2020 special and that was it. So now it is Saturday. I have a busy day today. I have quite a bit of clients. My last client is my best friend, so I'm trying to see if maybe her husband wants to come down and we can all go for like a little double date at one of our favorite Mexican spots after work. And then tomorrow we are going to a pumpkin patch with my parents. I got the tickets last night, so I'm super excited about that. I'm a little bit of in a rush. I went to Wawa to get my little breakfast, my sizzle or sizzlies. I have any of the ones that I like, so I got a bacon and cheddar like egg bite. So I'm gonna try that out and I got some orange juice and a protein bar. So I'm gonna run inside, eat real quick and then set up for my clients. Uh, some guy, some random guy came up to me at Wawa while I was trying to pick an orange juice and he was trying to like literally ask me out on a date and I was like, bro, I'm married. Guys are such weirdos. Like, first of all, at Wawa, like, bro, come on. <laughs> all right, I got a little cortadito, and let's get this Sunday started. I mean, Saturday. I keep saying today's Sunday. Saturday. Sunday. I did not vlog absolutely nothing yesterday. I was just so busy at work and when I did my last client, my best friend Genesis, I just got so caught up in the moment with her I completely forgot to like whip out the camera and film and then we went to a Mexican place after and had a double date with her husband. I forgot to film that too and then came home and literally passed out because I was so tired. But it is Sunday now. I look so cute. I'm going to a pumpkin patch right now. And I am going with my parents, so we're going to meet them there. It is an hour drive, so we need to leave right, right now. We made an appointment for 1 o'clock. You have to buy tickets ahead of time. Cookie bear, what you guys doing? I love baby boy. My clean baby boy. But this morning, I did wake up at 6.30, obviously, because of the time change. So we are an hour ahead. or an hour behind. We gained an hour. So I woke up at 6.30, then I went to my first cycle class. It was so much fun. I'm definitely going to be back. So that was fun. That was at 8.15 in the morning. And then after it, I got a frozen like frappuccino coffee and then got breakfast for Ryan and I. Cleaned up the house, got ready, showered, and now we're headed to a pumpkin patch. I'm so excited. I'm going to show you guys my outfit. So this is my outfit. This dress is from a boutique called Francesca's. I'm not wearing these shoes. My mom is going to bring me some boots that she's actually going to gift me um, that didn't fit her. So the boots are going to match better with this outfit. And then this purse is from Sheen. This hat is from... Where is this hat from? I think it's from Amazon. Yeah, this is the fall vibes today. So I'm going to head downstairs. We're going to get in the car and start heading out there. back from the pumpkin patch it was a fall festival so it wasn't just pumpkins and it's called southern hill farms here in florida and claremont florida it was about 
35 minutes away it was not an hour the gps was take was trying to take us the long way but if we took the highway it would take like 35 minutes so we got there super quick um it was so much fun i went with my parents it was just nice to like walk around the weather was absolutely perfect today definitely florida fall and we had we had drinks i had apple cider we also bought apple cider donuts and they were so good they were fresh they had just made them my camera is about to die so let me replace the battery real quick my lips are so chapped but it's a pregnancy symptom you know my mom did give me these boots to keep they did not fit her so she gave them to me and they are absolutely perfect i don't know where she got them from but i've been actually looking for a pair of boots like this and i was going to buy some so i'm so happy she gave them to me so now i don't have to buy them and they look so cute on they definitely matched the outfit the hat it was definitely fall vibes so shout out to my mom for giving me these because these are so cute can't wait to wear them for the rest of the season i did get a little sheen order so i'm going to show you guys what i got it's mostly maternity clothes clothes that i can wear right now being pregnant because things are not fitting so i did get three sports bras and the size medium i'm usually a size small so i did get a medium this brand is called glow mode and i swear it is a lululemon dupe the feel is just like lululemon and the price is probably like 20 bucks per like sports bra i think it's like 18 18 to 20 dollars the quality is literally unreal it feels like lululemon so i got this burgundy color a white and a black i actually own this same sports bra in multiple different colors but they're in a size small and when i wear them to orange theory they're so tight my boobs look like they're about to pop out so i definitely needed to size up and get a medium i will also link my entire order down below in case you guys are interested i also got a maternity like lounge pajama set so this is the bottom and then this is the top the quality feels pretty good um it's not like super super soft but it definitely feels wearable and comfortable and this is just like to wear around the house this these shorts are perfect because right now my shorts that i have they feel so uncomfortable on my belly i don't like anything tight feeling on my belly and it's definitely not big enough to go over my belly so i do love these maternity shorts as you can see here the front here is very baggy and there's also a strap here to make it tighter and then that way you can adjust it to your belly she has some really cute maternity clothes so i love that because obviously i don't want to spend a lot on maternity clothes because i'm only gonna wear it once i have these little flared trippy pants this i got a size large because i knew because of my belly i might be going to edc next weekend it's not 100 percent sure so i bought this just in case so that way i have like an outfit not sure if i'm going yet but i really want to go just for a couple hours so i bought this just in case very random and then i also got these maternity biker shorts and they are absolutely perfect i think i want to buy more pairs just to have they feel very comfortable just to wear around the house with a t-shirt also if i want to wear them out in public and i don't know if you guys can tell but the front of it is like a big like this little shape here this is for the belly and this part here really stretches so it feels perfect on it's a size small and then also has the adjustable straps here to like adjust it to your waist and your belly size so i love that i could wear this for a really long time so that was a good find and then this i might return um there's like a couple other things i need to return anyways from like a different order um so i think i might return this just because it's very big i don't know i might try it on it's a size medium i should have gotten a size small but i was just really nervous getting it small and it being like too tight with my belly or with my belly getting bigger not fitting in it but it just looks very big so i don't know about this but this is really cute it's like a sweater material and this would be cute with like a white long sleeve underneath to wear to work with boots i love that i also got a jumper this is like a corduroy corduroy i cannot say that word corduroy feel <laughs> it's not denim it's like corduroy and it's just like a black jumpsuit i think i don't think this is a pregnancy i think it's just like a regular jumpsuit i did get it in a size small because it did look pretty big and baggy so this would be perfect to wear for work for the weekends 
as my belly gets bigger i can definitely wear this for a long time i also got a this is a maternity skirt i do have this in a black color and i love it so much it feels so comfortable it's very comfortable feeling and because the sides here are ruched it has a lot of stretching and expanding that can happen so as my belly gets bigger this will be working great for me and then this is probably one of my favorite thing of this order it's this long jumpsuit it's probably a aritzia like lululemon dupe it's flared on the ends and it's from the same brand glow mode i really recommend this brand they have the best like blue lemon dupes it has like that buttery feel material very nice quality not see-through very comfortable i love it i do have all of their leggings i do have some of their leggings that i wear to orange theory and i just love this brand so much so that is everything i also got some ballet flats this is a size six and a half this fits me perfectly the other order that i received not too long ago i got a size seven because i was unsure because I'm in between sizes. The review said to size up, and I did, and they're too big. So I need to return those shoes, which is why maybe I can return this. So that way I can put it all together in the same package. But this one, these are like a nudish, crocky ballet flat. They are so cute. They're really affordable, and they were size six and a half. So I cannot wait to wear this this season. Okay, I'm gonna turn down this light because it's kind of bothering me. So that was my Sheen order. Very happy with what I purchased. I also did order some stuff from Timu, and I think I got more like just loungewear. They did have a maternity section, so I think I got loungewear, um, some pajamas, just like some affordable things to wear. Being pregnant, I'm not trying to spend too much because I don't want to keep buying bigger sizes because then once I have the baby and I go back to our normal size, then it's going to be a waste, you know? So, I've also never ordered clothes from Timu, so we'll see how that goes. I'll give you guys an update on that, obviously. But yeah, today was a really good day. Um, Energy-wise, still the same. I've just finally accepted that the pregnancy tiredness is never going to go away, so I'm just embracing the tiredness. And I'm just not a napper. I know people say take naps, take advantage, nap while you can because when the baby comes, you're going to have zero sleep. I'm just not a napper. So I'm not going to force myself to nap because people tell me to or because they think that's going to make me feel better. Me personally, I don't like napping. I don't like the way I feel when I wake up from a nap. I feel even worse. I almost feel like I'm hungover when I wake up from a nap. I hate naps <laughs> so i'd rather just push through so today was a really good day i'm so glad we went to the fall festival at the farm it was super cute thank you to my parents for coming and joining us i'm also gonna end this vlog here i'm gonna take a shower and chill on the couch with ryan and probably pass out like around eight o'clock because the time did change and it's super dark so in my pregnancy mind it's time to go to bed <laughs> so hopefully you guys enjoyed this weekend vlog i know I did not vlog yesterday at all, so I'm sorry about that. But if you enjoyed it, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Also, forget to subscribe down below to help your girl out. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.